People walk in and say, ooh, I love your house. Everybody is just blown away by the quality of the house. When they step in the front door and they see the amenities and how well it lives. It's a smaller home, but it lives big. Whoa! And they look around and they just see the openness and uh, the large windows. They find it very comfortable and um, sometimes it's a little hard to get them to leave. <laughs> for over 40 years, Sunterra Homes has set the standard for sustainable, energy efficient home construction. Way back before energy costs started ratcheting up, we were deep into affordability, sustainability, and green building practices. Incorporating high-level thermal mass took direct advantage of the natural ability of the structure to absorb and release heat, stabilizing the home's interior temperature swings, and more importantly, significantly reducing the heating and cooling costs. The heating bills were much less than I had anticipated. We do our hot water and we have this, I mean, the kitchen appliances, everything, and our heating the house along with the wood. That's roughly a 2,100 square foot home, so $30 a month, maybe between 25 and 30 on the average. This technique works so well that the first award we received was from the U.S. Department of Energy for directly contributing to our national energy needs. As we built more, we refined our techniques, sustainability increased, and our reputation grew, generating a regular stream of awards. It wasn't long before our first local Green Builder Awards, and from there we added silver, then gold medallions from the National Association of Home Builders. Our latest? National Green Builder of the Year from the National Green Builders Council. So many people can say they do green builds because they put a lot of insulation in the walls, but Jim goes way back doing this for decades and knows it's much more than just that to hang the, the eco green builder uh, sign on your door. The steady evolution of sustainable, affordable green building techniques has yielded the most exciting development yet, the patented Sunterra Energy Block Exterior Wall System. Sunterra stood out as one that was really interesting because of the passive solar design and the energy block. This is a very comfortable home. We're warm in the winter, cool in the summer. The floor is warm, it's nice. This heat storage that sustains warmth in your house really shines when you apply passive solar. You can actually provide a higher percentage of heating because the ability to store that heat without increasing temperature. You can maintain good comfort levels and passive solar can be the primary heating system. Another example of how well the house works, we were gone for about three weeks in January and there was a a real cold snap and we're talking you know sub-zero temperatures in the in the night and cold in the day and we didn't have a thing on we came back and we have an indoor thermometer and it read uh, 58 degrees when the homeowner told me the story after being 21 days gone from their house and leaving all the heat off i had to check the weather data the average outdoor temperature was 30 degrees the average low was 19. they only lost 10 degrees that's remarkable. You could live in that home without heat if you had to. That's sustainability. The cool thing is in the winter, too, on a, if it's a sunny day, the heater literally doesn't run until the sun goes down. What we have done is we've designed a concrete block called CMU with a groove that will accept a plastic extrusion, same material that windows are made out of. It's such a smart design with the insulation outside so it keeps all the good stuff in the house. And it doesn't change temperature very quickly mm -hmm. up or down. The house pretty much pretty stays steady. constant. Yeah, pretty steady. We'd start a fire and within five minutes the house was warm and I would, uh, I'd be gone for maybe a week or so and the house would not drop more than, you know, two to three degrees in, in the winter time. Until it gets down around 15, the solar is more than adequate to keep a comfortable 68 to 70 degree temperature in the house. 
our intelligent thermostat even tells us what percentage we are relative to others, and we're like top 10%. The data was so compelling that Oregon State University's fifth year value engineering class chose to study the benefits of the new system. OSU research determined a 29% reduction in heating and almost total reduction in cooling needs because of the heat storage capabilities within the structure. This kind of energy efficient and sustainable construction is especially critical in the red hot Central Oregon housing market. I feel like we came out way ahead there in terms of getting exactly what we wanted with a custom built and designed house, quality materials, quality build, and then when we see things on the market now for more than we ended up spending that are just, uh, I think, lower quality spec homes, we, we feel like we made a very smart call doing this. And also, we always felt and still do that he's just a very trustworthy builder. Sentara Energy Block is unique. The masonry surface is on the interior so that you use it as a thermal storage media. It has to react to the interior space, but you're creating a valuable decorative surface, a featured wall, value added to your home. I really enjoy the, the brick, the CMU, and I didn't think I would like that at all. That was probably one of my biggest reservations, and yet once we got it in and got paint around it, and I really enjoy it. What's unique about this decorative surface, you can choose color, you can choose texture. If you want to, you can plaster it to make it look like a sheetrock wall. A green home that uses up to 80% less energy. Sustainable materials that are resistant to moisture, mold, rot, and vermin. A comfortable and healthy living space that is eminently affordable. That's a Sunterra Energy Block home. I believe this construction method is the pinnacle of conservation in an affordable package. I guess it's nice to have that to feel like we're doing the right thing without making any sacrifice because our house is lovely and comfortable and right. it's not a sacrifice to be doing the right thing. I love that it's uh, saving the world, so. Why aren't there more home builders like this? I recommend Sunterra Homes to, to anybody that, that'll listen. The quality speaks for itself. And I think the, the quality it's really good. Everything's really solid. There aren't a lot of creaks or anything in the house. Once we researched it, it just became clear that it was the smart way to go to build the house. It's been amazing. We've had a really good experience working with Jim. You wonder why anyone would do it any differently. Yeah, they're all just dumb not to do it this way. <laughs>